So, never went into really making a year. Amazing. This first year has been awesome. I appreciate all the support, all the comments, all the sharing, all the likes that have been happening with these videos. Um, it makes me feel like all the time that I put into them, uh, minus my 40 hour work week, um, is worth it. So, thank you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for helping me grow. Thank you for um, just being positive. You know, I, I've gotten very minimal or limited, like, negative criticisms on my page. And I appreciate that, you know. If it's not constructive, don't want to hear it. So I appreciate all the positivity, all the people that have just been really just awesome in helping me get my name out there and so um expect a giveaway soon i haven't decided how i want to do this yet but it will happen soon and it will be awesome because you all are awesome and i appreciate all that you have done for my channel all that you have done to help me grow in the natural hair arena and yeah just really thankful really grateful really humbled so thank you all right guys so let's get into this tutorial um, a couple of months ago I was actually cordially invited to be a part of Carmilla Marie's program where she gathered a bunch of youtubers uh, and bloggers to be ambassadors for her so I was chosen as one of her ambassadors which I'm very proud of so in this video for this refresh of this style I'm going to be showing you how to use some of her products to achieve this style so this is my hair freshly washed and I achieved it by using the Alabama Mix Creamy Cleanser by Carmilla Marie. And I was super surprised by how much definition I was able to get with just a cleanser. The two styling products that I used to achieve the style at the end of this video was My Gel as well as Treasure which is her natural styling cream. So after cleansing my hair I'm going to go ahead and lock in the moisture with her styling cream. So I'm going to coat my whole head with her Treasure styling cream. And then as I separate my hair into smaller sections, depending on how my hair feels, whether it feels like it's getting frizzy or needs a little bit more moisture, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of this cream onto my hair before I use her styling product. This will make sure that I get max hold as well as max retention of moisture in my hair. Because these twists will be in my hair for a period of time before I take them out. So I don't wanna have to re-moisturize them a bunch of times. I want to lock in a lot of moisture if I can from the very beginning. So there's two ways to achieve a very defined twist out. The way that I'm doing it right now is one of the ways to make your hair or separate it into smaller sections and do small to medium sized twists. That's usually how I do my hair because I usually wear my twist for a period of time. But if I'm going to take my twist out the next day and I want to do like a chunkier twist out then the way that I'm gonna get that defined is that I'm gonna twist my hair very tightly or tautly together. I'm not gonna rush to get to the ends of my hair fairly quickly. I'm gonna make sure that my twists are tight and that they're formed and that by the time I get to the end, I'm finished twisting each strand of hair around the other strand of hair. I think I'll do a video on that to show you a little bit more in depth of how I achieve a more defined twist out from a chunkier twist. Comment below if you would like to see that.
So after finishing all of my twists, as you can see, they're medium to small size. Um, they're going to stay in for maybe three to four days, maybe five, depending on how I feel. I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my braids. You can never forget when your hair is in a protective style or your hair is braided or twisted up to moisturize that part of your hair. And moisture, like I've said before, is more than just oil. You have to put some type of water content on that hair. So I'm using my aloe moisturizing spray. I'm going to go ahead and spray and catch all of the strands of these hairs that are braided up. And then I'm going to lock in that moisture with an oil or butter base. I decided to do an oil because I didn't want butter to ride on top of my braids. I also use this oil on my daughter's hair, especially after I've washed it, to kind of lock back in some moisture into her hair. And that's basically it to this refresh style. I'm going to post some pictures at the end to show you how my hair looked initially. Shout out to Yanni from Beauty on the Bayou who initially did my hair like this. And let me have two and a half weeks of glorious nothingness. Of doing nothing to my hair. And I hope you like it. I hope you comment, subscribe, and share below. And check me out in the next one. Peace.